welcome to my sewing channel. My name is Delilah and today I'm going to show you how to make beautiful ruffles using your searcher machine. So I'm going to show you how to gather fabric and I'm going to show you just an easy way to create ruffles and by the end of this episode you will be in tears. <music> So I'm going to use as an example a rayon chalice fabric, a knit fabric, and like a quilter's cotton woven fabric. Let's start with the cotton woven fabric first. So when you do your ruffles, you're just going to want to test your serger. So let's pretend that what you need to add ruffles to is this panel. So all you need to do is whatever the size is of your panel, you're going to double it up for the ruffles. So that's why we have this right here and see it's double the amount. And so we're going to take it over to the serger and I'll show you the settings that I'm going to use. My serger is the Brother 1034D and and what you do to change it to a gather setting is the left and the right needle and I always start out with a six. So you're going to change both of those dials to a six and then on the side over here you're going to increase this part right here to a number two. And then the settings on everything else is the same, and I don't even change my the foot on my serger. So now I'm going to put my fabric through it, and let's see what we get. Okay, see how it's gathered? Now let's take it over to our fabric and see if that's enough gathering. Okay, so here we are, and that right there is pretty close. So then all you'd have to do, you don't even need to mess with these gathers. You don't need to try to, you know, wiggle them or anything. You just place them on top of, you know, whatever it is that you needed to be gathered and just clip it down. And then you can, and then I always use my sewing machine for the, to attach the gathers because it gives me a lot more control. This is the foot that I like to use when doing ruffling. See how it doesn't have a closure right there? When I use that foot, it doesn't press down the ruffles. It's nice. Okay. Okay, and then this is what it looks like. So let's go ahead now and try it on a knit. So here's your knit and then pretend, you know, that this is the bodice. I'm just going to, again, double the size. So this one, I'd already cut it and I doubled it. So let's take it over to the serger and do the ruffles and see what we come up with. So I still have my settings set at the six. Okay, so here's our ruffles. See, so now, because you did that, you could go ahead and add that on there, and then all you have to do is cut off the excess. So these are perfect ruffles that we didn't need to mess with. See, it surged, and then I just ran it through my sewing machine. On knits, though, just for the record, you would want to run it through your serger so you would still get that stretch. Okay, this is the rayon chalice fabric. And we're going to pretend that this is the bodice that we need to sew our ruffles to. So again, I got my fabric that is uh, going to be double the length of my pretend bodice. Now I'm going to go put this through my serger. Okay, so I still have my stitch length set to a six and I'm going to run this through it. And here's our ruffles. Okay, now with those same settings, this one came out way too short. And so see what happened? Look, I ran out of fabric. That means that I have my ruffles way too tight. So what I'm gonna have to do is lower the tension on my serger. Because see, even on here, if I start pulling it, it's gonna become unraveled. So let's go ahead and run this through the serger again. It is six. It was, you know, really, really tight. So I'm actually just going to move it just a tiny bit above the five. Okay. 
Okay, so here's our ruffles and there we go. We got a setting. So I could mess with it a little bit more if I wanted to, if I wanted to get like a tighter ruffle going, but I know that this is actually a pretty close match. So I actually have a real life bodice. So what I did is I took my test piece of fabric and it is one, two, five inches long, and this one is more than double. Okay, this one is actually 12 inches long. So we have a lot more width to ruffle with. So now I'm gonna go change the settings on my serger, and I'm going to increase it to six and a half on both needles. So let's see what that does. It shrunk it down. Let's see, did it do the exact? This is really ruffly, so. Yes, that actually worked perfectly. So that one is a perfect fit. And then, you know, you would just, you could cut off the excess right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep the settings just like that. And I am going to ruffle the top part. I'm going to attach the ruffles to the bodice. I've already cut this out, and so the width is gonna be more than double, so it is, see? So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this through the serger, and then I'll come right back. Okay, so I'm back. Let's see if this is the way that we want it. Okay, that looks great. Now, all I have to do, because see, it's the right size, I'm going to sew this down to secure the stitches and then I'll clip it to my bodice. Okay, so I clipped it down to secure the stitches so they won't unravel. Now I will just tuck this inside so that the right sides are together and I'm gonna be gentle with these ruffles with these gathers because, you know, I don't want them to come undone. So I'm just going to tuck this in and start clipping it. And then we'll be ready to sew it down. We don't have to play the ruffle game. Okay, can you believe that? We are ready to put it through the sewing machine already. So I'm gonna start in the back here. There we go. Yay, I am so happy with it. I hope you are too. So these are, to me, perfect ruffles that you didn't have to spend an hour trying to pull them manually to get the ruffles to be perfect. Let's see the back. And here is the back. So not bad and super fast. I love the ruffles and it didn't take me long at all. So now I'm gonna do a second row. So I'm gonna make a tiered dress. Okay, so yeah, I wanted to tear the dress and show you how to do the double fabric at the same time, but because I sewed the dress together, it's not gonna work that way. I would have to tear it and then attach it. So so I'll just do more ruffles the same way I showed you. Okay. So I was able to attach the ruffles pretty fast, but there's an even faster way of doing it, and it's using the ruffle foot on your serger. So I'm not a master at it, but I'm going to demonstrate it and try it out. It is something that I'm going to need practice on, but let's go ahead and I'll show you that feature. So I'm just going to change it to a six, and then I've attached my ruffling foot right here. So um, that's the only thing that I'm doing different. So the fabric that I'm gonna ruffle is gonna go on the very bottom. So I'm just gonna stitch that in place. 
Okay, and then the fabric that is going to be straight without ruffles is going to go on the top. So I've got the right sides together. I'm sliding this in. And it's not going to meet edge to edge, but it's going to meet right up there to the needle. And then I'm going to, let me do another stitch or two. Okay, now that's stitched in. And so what I need to do is hold this kind of firm and then let the one underneath it just kind of go. So let's try this. Okay, so that is what I got. Let me show you. So let's see how this turned out. And it's it's pretty good. I messed up a little bit right here. But other than that, even if I were to iron it, oh my gosh, it really does look good. It's going to be something that I'm going to have to keep practicing on, you know, kind of like I did with my rolled ham foot or kind of like with everything else. But see, that's not bad at all. So that's something that I'm going to have to be practicing on. Leave me a comment if you yourself have mastered the ruffle foot. Okay, and I mentioned we would be in tears by the end of the episode. So here's my dress in tears. So I just did the ruffles the same way that I did the top part. And so I just think it turned out really, really cute in half the time. I hope you can save time now and make even more dresses, more gathered sleeve, more ruffles, more curtains, whatever it is that you want to make. And so also leave me a comment if you found this tutorial helpful. Um, I am going to finish the bottom using my rolled hem foot. That's also going to be another standalone video. So make sure you watch uh, for that video. So until next time, happy sewing. Mm -hmm.